welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole Cole and I love everything home. I am not one style. I use all kinds of styles and I just kind of mix old and new and vintage. So, um, I do have a lot of heirlooms that I use in my decor. I want everyone to see them. Someone mentioned the other day, said, you know, a lot of people don't use heirloom pieces to decorate with, but I do. So if you like that sort of thing and you're not a minimalist, because I am definitely a maximalist, this is your channel. I hope you will subscribe and um, join me. I love sharing how I decorate. Um, I am not an interior designer by no means, but I've always been decorating. I've been decorating for probably 30 some odd years. I've done weddings, I've done homes. Uh, I used to have a store that I did flower arrangements so in crafts. So yeah, I'm just all around very crafty, very uh, home decor. If I am awake, Honestly, if I'm asleep, I'm thinking about decor. So, but today we are working in our breakfast nook. This is one of my favorite areas. And I think I say that numerous times, but now this one, it's just, when we first moved in, this area right here was just a desk and it looked very much like the cabinets, white, nothing underneath. So I pulled that out and put this beautiful dresser in there and I love that look in the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually scored this from one of my classmates um, from high school and I love it and that just makes it even better. I have decorated the shelves up top. I've taken all of my Easter down. You know, this was like what I told somebody, it's all in your face Easter. So I have taken all the Easter down. I do want to add pops of bunnies, just a few. I am going to bring in my Roseville pottery. I love Roseville. You'll see it. You can probably see it up in the top already, but I do like to add that in this kitchen area. I like more, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Utilitarian top kitchen, an old French utilitarian kitchen. That's my thought, but it's like, the girl has bought everything in sight because I want it all over the place. So I love this. This is what, when I say Roseville pottery, this is what I'm talking about with the blue stripe. Love, love, love it. Now this is not an antique piece. This was actually a piece of my mom's. She had the three bowls. Uh, we have lived, I, I grew up, you know, moving all over the United States. I've lived in 12 states plus Canada. So we always got to shop in different areas of the country and we found such treasures. Ohio has the Roseville pottery or used to. I don't know if they're still making, but I do want to use that in this area. There's some things that I bought from Rusty Ridge Vintage off of um, Instagram. Y'all go follow her if you haven't. If you've been watching me for some time, I do use a lot of her items. Love her stuff. And then in this area, I'm going to add a couple heirlooms. I have this set of plates. Now I have added to it along the way. This is the Courier and I set. This was my husband's great grandmother set. Love this. So I do add to it. And then I have some utensils of my grandmother's. I'm trying to look around to see what else I have. And I think that's about it. Some of it's new, like I said, some of it's old, but let's just go ahead and get started decorating. So glad you could join me today. Who am I that the maker of heaven would love me and know me by name? In a world where I feel like a stranger, his love came and found me the same. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep Everything I need is found in you All in you Everything I need is found in you Found in you, Jesus What is love? That the God of the heavens would stoop down to love me with grace In the midst of my pride and rebellion His love wouldn't give up the chase In each breath that I breathe When I wake or I sleep I 
as you've seen up top, I did kind of layer in my copper, my Roseville, you know, some um, jelly uh, jars that I have collected. But I want to show you how to do this bottom shelf. Uh, this is such a hard angle to get everybody to see, but I'm hoping that maybe you can um, follow along. On this shelf, I'm going to do a copper pot dead center. And I'll show you up top in just a moment, but you'll notice that I do zigzag my pieces across the piece because I want to carry the eye across your piece. I don't have any copper down here. I may change that, but for now, I'm going to put this copper piece here, and then I'm going to add in my Roseville, okay? Now, look at all the variations of height. I do try to kind of keep a mountain or hills and valleys uh, look on any piece I do. It just carries the eye across the piece. You know, and this one, I have this really pretty backed piece, so I wanted to really leave that open so you could see it. Another large Roseville, I'm gonna put this in the corner. Now, as you see, I've got hills and valleys, but I want something small here. This is actually a cup saucer, but I am going to use that on my base, put in one of my really pretty jelly jars. I think these are from Belgium. I think that's what she said. Please don't quote me, but I got that from Rusty Ridge Vintage. So I'm going to put that in here. And then this is an old cake um, topper, or, and I just put a new uh, piece on it. I've had it copper. I've had it bronze. I change it out all the time, but I am just going to do that right here. It just adds a little hint of glass, and it just gives that uh, reflection that I really, really want. These are not marked on the bottom, and you can probably see throughout my piece, I do have them. I bought these from Genevieve some time back. There's no markings on the bottom. And I have several of them, and so I just mix those in here and there, and you see how I did that? See, I do that for a reason, and then a small one on this side. Now, that's pretty plain, and I'd love to add some greenery into it. So this is my thought. I could go with this one and do greenery, but I think I wanna do this one because I wanna add some interest in the middle. Just like that, I love that look. Now, I do have some utensils that I may kinda of sprinkle along the whole cabinet. I'm gonna take y'all back a little bit. It'll be kind of far out, but you'll get a look of what I'm referring to. So you can get a bird's eye view of the whole piece. You can see here what I was referring to earlier. Copper, copper, gold, copper. So I don't have them directly under each other. I do zigzag them across the piece. So that carries your eye across your whole decor area but now I do have a couple pieces of copper. I have this one. I only have one. I don't know why I said couple. I have one and I'm going to add that right here. I think I have enough interest on this side with the glass that's shimmery. I wanted something shiny over here, if that makes sense. Now I have these utensils that were my grandmother's. Some of them I got from Genevieve. This one I actually got from Genevieve, but these, are my grandmothers, and I just want to kind of sprinkle those in the display. your attention towards the breakfast nook table. I had, when we first moved in here, and I think I have a picture I'll show you guys. There 
there was a long table here, in which it was fine, but I just thought a round table over here would just be so quaint and uh, country feeling, cozy. So I painted this the blue color. These are the interior colors of our door. This is called Stardew Blue from Sherwin-Williams. So I painted that and then I did white wax it just to give it a little more texture. I have Pinky and Blue Boy behind here. These are prints that my great grandmother had in her be bedroom, one of her bedrooms. These are not hers, but they just reminded me of hers. So when you're out scouting for decor or vintage or antique items, try to find pieces that invoke memories. To me, that is what makes a house cozy, brings all of those feels in, okay? But I did display, you know, some of my blue and white plates. And then on this side, this is actually a uh, mantle mirror. I thought it was gorgeous in here. I have moved it all over the house, trying to find the right place for it. And I think I found it right here. I love that mirror here. It pulls the light from across the room and just brightens up this area to me. So I want to add some interest on the uh, breakfast nook table. And the first thing I want to do, these are some pillows that I had made out of old grain sack. And I uh, love using those in here. For one thing, they do match my Roseville pottery. So that is another reason why I love to use them. And you'll see, I have a little nook over here in this corner. And I have these bowls of my mom's. The more I think about it, I think I want the heavier on this side with the lighter on this side. Little copper with a greenery in it. Just for some interest. My centerpiece. I think what I want to do is do a basket on the bottom. This is an old tray basket, not an old one. It's actually brand new, but I bought it off of Pine and Ivy. Uh, you can look them up on Facebook, wonderful store. But I'm just gonna use that as my foundation. Now I'm gonna add in my Roseville pottery. Maybe some greenery. And I wanna put this in here, but I thought, what if I took a doily? It's a long doily, okay? And just kind of draped it in there. I still want to see my stripes on my Roseville and then stick. Love that look. Now to bring in a little bit of the bunny element, I'm gonna do, is this uh, just a cutting board that I had someone make for me? Two very inexpensive rabbits. Now you see how I added this here? It gives it that hills and valleys look. So that is the key. You want to keep everything. You don't want it all flat on your surface. You do want to keep those hills and valleys. Let's take a look around the room. Love mixing in, you know, the stripes with the Rose Roseville pottery. Uh, you know, that piece over there is my mother's. And then these are pieces that I have collected over the years. But, oh, and then my husband's great-grandmother's Courier and Ives collection of uh, China. And then this area. Love this dresser. And my mother just bought me this crock. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's got a little Indian on the front of it. I don't know. I've never shared this. My husband is uh, Porch Creek Indian. So uh, he's always dark and I'm always pale everywhere we go. <laughs> but I loved that for him. I thought, oh, that's so cute. But um, the back of this dresser is to die for. I absolutely love it. I add a little bit of the Courier and Oz plates over here. I have thought about hanging a piece of artwork above that, but y'all, I just don't want to take away from the back of that piece. It's gorgeous. But as we pan up, you can see where I was going with this 
scattered pieces or, you know, just the zigzag of copper across the piece. I hope all of this makes sense to you guys, how I try to layer and do hills and valleys all over with my vignettes to give it that uh, a look and to um, carry your eye across your decor. Love sharing this with you guys today. I know numerous people have asked, I'm probably, if I show it, it's going to make a glare, but I purchased these chandeliers. There's one over our um, kitchen island. I purchased them, purchased them from Alyssa's in Pace, Florida. Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope y'all have an awesome rest of your week. Look forward to seeing y'all Saturday. Love you. Found in you, Jesus. What is love that the God of the heavens would stoop down to love me with grace? In the midst of my pride and rebellion, His love wouldn't give up the chase. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep,